Welcome to today's Serokan Saturday. Today's Serokan Yakusoku Juichiban, the last one, number 11, YK11, basic Waza 11, whatever terminology you use, Waza 11, Waza Juichiban, Serokan 11, how I refer to it, okay? Serokan 11, the last one of them. Here's how it goes. Now, in re-watching, I've been, I always do, I ask my students, I was watching a video how many thousand times? So there are, as with anything, there are permutations and evolutions. But I ran across, and I recently shared on my Facebook, um, a video up that was filmed in Awase Park with Jody Paul, my instructor, with Toma Sensei supervising, and many times where Toma stepped in, and he was specifically working on Jody, even though Donnie Hayhurst off to one side here, and Dave Barty's on the other side, and, you can see the guys all in there, but he was going in the middle. So it's kind of hard to see, but if you look past and through and don't get your view obscured by Dave, no offense, Dave, but if you can look past and see what Toma Sensei specifically corrects and does, and not everybody gets the correction or does it, he, but, you know, that's just Toma was working with one guy. So as I watched that, I found that I have let some of my Kempo creep into my Sadokan. Not that that's a bad thing, and if, if anybody's being honest, you look at your own Sadokan, and it's, it's mutated over the years into your own personal whatever. And that's okay. That's as it should be. That's the shuhari. That's the learn, copy, and then innovate concept. That's all right. But as I looked at the basic, I made some discoveries about myself and some connections. So Sadokan 11 starts with the Jordan punch. Again, we're coming in and under. On this one specifically, I do want that what I mentioned last week on Juban, on number 10, I do want that penetration into the brachial artery, not bronchial, brachial. Hey, so I come in and under and I strike here. From here, my permutation that I let creep in was a strike to the jaw with an osotogari, a reaping move. Boom. Holding on, finish. Okay? That's my basic. What I found that I was doing differently than how Jody was demonstrated to by Toma is from here, the strike comes, and then I'm turning to this knee and pressing down. So it's rotation. So here's where the similarity and difference is. There's a great judo instructor who went through the entire lexicon of judo techniques. And one of the points he made is that every judo technique, particularly the throws more so than the locks, can be done as what he calls a driver, which is going forward and through, or as a rotator. This covers both. And so my permutation of this is, you know, let's turn it away. Right? Again, I want to come in past the elbow. My permutation of this, if he's strong in his stance and doesn't go down, uh, then all I have to do is turn what was going to be a driver into a rotator as I press in and down, if that makes sense, okay? So the driver version got truncated or stopped, and I just rotate. Now, there are a couple of other little things. The, in the Kempo techniques that we do that are related with this Osotogari and push movement, we use the koko uchi, or what in sumo is called the nolowa, which is the throat attack. <laughs> so in most of our kempo techniques, I'm going to be striking to the throat as I do the sweep. Another permutation that I saw a few people do in seokan is take this wrap as I come through. So I have his arm wrapped here as I step the other one is instead of coming up and driving the chin up and back, is to come at an angle and rotate as you take him down, okay? The advantage is I already have here, but it's not 100% necessary to completely wrap the arm, although I do have good control, can create a hold, can create a break. I'm in a strong position here if I've already wrapped the arm, but if I don't want to go all the way to the floor, When I do this, I'm simply going to grab right here where I am. And I still get the same effect. 
It's just I don't have to go down there if I don't want to. But if I choose to, I can. Okay? So, from this side, two versions, the driver and the rotator. Hey, block, driver, boom. Kicking the leg out, finish. And the rotator, hey, pressing down. This is the one Thomas showed specifically when he was teaching in Owasa Park. Other side, same thing. One, my version. I bent his beard a little, sorry about that. There. A little strike there. And again, variations. The original Toma version in the park, it's just a walk in the park. And they still have his arm and everything else. Yakusoku Juichiban. Driver, rotator. Grab, wrap, variations. But the fundamental, going back to what I actually saw Thomas Sensei teach, is block, grab where you are, no wrap, step, rotate, and drive. That's number 11. That's the last of them. Next week, with Max and myself, we'll do a full run through of all 11, all the way through as a review. Thank you for joining. As always, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, all those things. And until next week, as always, let's keep practicing.